Good afternoon. Here we are, a video on how to find the surface area of a triangular prism. And I have one prepared already. We have um, this already set up. This is five centimeters as well. So this is an irregular triangular prism. This one happens to be a, an isosceles triangular prism because we have this shape here. Here is our isosceles triangle with our five centimeters, five centimeter, and four centimeter base. However, I have made it, I've measured already, uh, that from this to here is 3.7 centimeters, so in order to find the area, I'm going to use this as my base instead. So, finding the surface area of a triangular prism, I am going to, one, find the area of each side. So to make life a little bit easier, I'm going to number them. This will be number one, number two. Behind here is number three, number four, and this side is number five. So side one, what I'm seeing here is I have a, a rectangle that's five centimeters by six centimeters. So side one, five centimeters times six centimeters equals 30 centimeters. Please remember the unit. It is centimeters squared. Side 2, right here. This is also 6 centimeters times 5 centimeters. So, also equals 30 centimeters squared. So I have that one, and I have that one. Side three is the back. So it is this side along here, and that side along there, which is six centimeters times four centimeters, equals 24 centimeters squared. Side four is a triangle. So I'm going to need to find the area of that triangle, and I know the area for a triangle equals base times height divided by 2. And in this case, my base is 5 centimeters times 3.7 centimeters divided by 2. Grab my calculator. 5 times 3.7 equals 18.5 divided by 2 divided by 2 equals 9.25 centimeters squared. So that was side 4. We're just going to move this over to here. 9.25 centimeters squared. And I know, because this is a regular triangular prism, that the side number 4 and side number 5 are exactly the same size and shape. So I can just put 9.25 centimeters squared for that as well. Now, because we're talking surface area of a triangular prism, what I'm learning is, what is the area of all of the surfaces of that triangular prism? And all that means is I'm going to add the areas of all of the different sides together. So I've got my 30 centimeters, 30, 24, 9.25, and 9.25. I'm going to add those together. So 30 plus 30 plus 24 plus 9.25 plus 9.25. Moment of truth equals 102.5. Please remember the units. In this case, it's centimeters, so centimeters squared. Okay. Another easy way to do this also is to have a model of a triangular prism and to kind of number off the different sides, add up the different areas, and sometimes that will help because you know you're not going to be missing any of the different sides. All right, all the best. Good luck. Stay tuned.